Righty ho, everybody. Righty ho. What's going on, everybody? So, yo guys, what's going on? It's Max here. Welcome back to my channel for my first, like, proper video, whatever you want to call it. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the off white. Nike Air Presto that released recently, I think August 3rd, I think it released. Luckily, I was able to grab myself a pair on Offspring. Thank you. Uh, a ridiculously hyped shoe. Rarely get something like this for retail price. Normally have to pay resale right here for retail price of £130. So, let's get right into the review of these shoes. Obviously, something that I am very excited about. But yeah, let's get on to the shoe. Starting off with the box, obviously, Nike swoosh or Nike swoosh, whatever you want to pronounce, Nike like. Nike like. Uh, uh, and then obviously here you got the sizing and you've got some barcode whatever that is anyway let's open the box and see what is inside surprise surprise it's a shoe so obviously you got the nice uh, the nice wrapping the, the paper the shoe whatever you want to call it with the off-white branding on the reverse box with the cardboard on the outside and the night branding on the inside normally it's that way around the norm for regular night release so you start off you get another pair of laces you get an orange pair which says shoe laces on the side of the laces quite nice i think these look better with the orange laces i haven't got around to doing that yet because literally these are brand new i've tried them on once for an instagram photo which is right there so these are the shoes themselves i've right, got a size 11 so i got i sized up because these don't come in half sizes so normally i'm a 10.5 true to size but these only came in full sizes so 10 or 11 so i sized up because you can do something about a big shoe but you can't do something about a small shoe anyway let's get the box out of here and the receipt and that you know about the laces and stuff so insanely hyped shoe these are going for some ridiculous amounts of money now more pairs than they were released for the og pairs what are my thoughts on the white pair my thoughts on the white pair Personally, not the greatest time to release them in England. Now, the weather is starting to go to winter, autumn kind of thing, and it's not great. If these were released about a month ago and it was sunny and dry the whole time, then this would be great summer shoe. But personally, if I had to choose between the white and the black, I would go for the black now. But if I, if I said that a month ago, I'd probably say the white. So yeah, let's get into the shoe themselves. Obviously, you've got the traditional, you've got the off-white zip tie. For any of you wondering, um, I've seen loads of comments on Instagram where people were, going through these shoes that this zip tie says 2017 not 2018 even even though it's 2018 so they must be fake if you wanted to know it's meant to say 2017 on a lot of the pairs or of the new pairs that were released in 2018 18 just because they're different colorways of a shoe that came out in 2017 so they're not fake because they say 2017 right anyway that's the zip tie obviously a lot of people keep keep this on i personally probably would take it off if i'm wearing these mainly because when you're walking this bit touches the ground and that annoys me like with my with the the air force ones that i have i'm gonna show you these so obviously a lot more beating I've worn these a lot. The zip tie here stays up, whereas these droops to the floor and stuff. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, so it features this sort of mesh material here. I don't know if you can see that. Got like little holes in, breathable, good for your feet, not gonna get sweaty. You've got the classic off-white under the the sort of caged a bit it's got the text there that's on every single off-white shoe pretty much uh and then you got this strap at the back that says air on in, in quotation mark also the tongue on this i noticed it's obviously it's foam it's like inside out it's sort of an icy blue which is quite cool nike branding or nike branding in a different spot than normally on a normal nike shoe so that's pretty much the shoe so let's talk about what i'd wear this shoe with personally i'd style this similar to the air force one low in white as well just because it is quite a chunky shoe like the actual wideness of the tongue is quite wide so you don't want to wear any skinny bottoms with these it will look very strange try to wear something that sits nicely on the shoe maybe covers the top bit of the tongue up to sort of like the zip tie maybe somewhere like that because you don't want something that's gonna grip around your ankle then you've got this massive wide bit you look like they're gonna have like what are they called flippers i don't know why i said that but you're gonna look like you have flippers on in terms of bottoms i have a pair of black cargos which look cool with these however they are taped Oh, they would sit well if they weren't tapered because they got a bit of elastic so it keeps them up So I'm gonna take the elastic out and make sure they sit nicely on the shoe chinos as well You can wear a pair a pair of beige chinos would go well with these the thing is They're like the wrong color beige. Oh These pair of chinos I got from H&M very cheap I think they were like 25 pounds or 20 quid. They sit well. They're nice and straight They're not they're not tapered at the bottom, which is good. I don't know what I'm doing. This is not gonna work If you're wearing baggy jeans, I think a nice yeah I think a Levi's 501 straight not not tapered again skinny or anything just as a regular Jean would look good. Yeah, so that's jeans. You've got cargos black cargos as an option, beige chinos. And finally, they sell them everywhere, these. They sell them in Dover Street Market as well. This pair of tracksuit bottoms right here, they're not tapered, 
so they fit nicely and yeah let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section down below i'll be replying to your comments and liking them and whatever that's the review of the off-white prestos so pretty much getting to the end of the video now guys one more thing i wanted to say before we go thank you for all the support in the first video we gained loads of followers on instagram got you guys back on it and also i wanted to tell you guys if you ever see something in one of my photos on instagram like a bit of clothing or a shoe that I'm wearing and you like it and you're like, oh, I want to get that, message me, let me know if you want it. I will sort out a good price for you and tell you if I'm selling it and stuff and then, yeah, we can sort out a good price. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought, again, about the shoe and the video and I will see you guys next time for another video on the channel. See ya. I had a lot of confidence in the base trousers.